These days, Singaporeans are known overseas as studious, industrious, and as of late, rich. However, times were different back then in the 70s as a Singaporean man fled to the Netherlands from Singapore for murder charges and began his reign as a drug lord. Roland Tan, nicknamed Mr. Big, made his name in Europe as an international gangster and controlled one of Europe's largest drug syndicate, earning him the title Singapore's Pablo Escobar. Roland Tan was born in 1948 and was raised in Serangoon, Singapore, where he began his career as a gangster. Roland Tan was arrested on 24th of October 1969, where he and his fellow gang members fatally assaulted rival gang member Lam Cheng Siu, who then passed on due to his injuries sustained. Not long after, he escaped to Amsterdam with the assistance of fellow Singaporeans from the Si Tong Gang. He then became number one on Singapore's list of wanted fugitives, and he became one of the founding members of Drugs syndicate Akong, which dethroned Hong Kong triad 14K as the leading drug dealer in Amsterdam. Akong had over a hundred members with operations in countries like Australia, Cambodia and Spain. He eventually relinquished control of Akong, moving to Copenhagen in the 1980s where he established a restaurant and married a local, where he successfully applied for Danish citizenship. But on 5th January 2009, before his birthday party at his restaurant, he was shot in the shoulder by an assailant later identified by Danish tabloid as Vietnamese heroin smuggler Nguyen Phi Hang, who had gotten into a dispute over financial matters. He then relocated to Cambodia after closing his restaurant but returned to Denmark in 2019. He passed away on 4th of April 2020 at the age of 72 by heart attack. Singapore today is much different from what it was in the 1970s. But stories like these makes me wonder what Singapore would have been if we went down the wrong path in history. What other notorious Singaporeans do you know? Let me know in the comments below.